Next very important visual is the map visual which is given by Microsoft. Map visual helps you to associate both categorical and quantitative information with spatial location. Something like this on the top right. You would see around bubbles based on your volume. The size of the bubble would increase or decrease and basis that you have a geographical pinpoint based on the volume. So it helps us relate the key KPI values to the geographies. What do you need to do to get this map visual configured into your Power BI dashboard? You would have to specify your location, legend, latitude, longitude and size. Let's have a look how to make use of it. So we have one map visual available over here. What have we configured? We've configured customer city, customer country in the order of descending larger to smaller. So country, post that there is a city and we've configured the size that is a quantity from the order details table. How did I put this data looking at the relationship which exists from the customers there is an ordered table and there is an order detail table. So I definitely know for every customer there should be some order which is taken place and which is available for me. With that relationship in mind, I can definitely look at the volume of the orders which is getting placed from every location. This helps you set up this question of identifying how would my sales distribution channel be like how heavy or how light it should be can be answered by looking at such visual looking at this visual by configuring country and city with respect to the quantity i come to know that north america has the largest chunk of my sales followed by europe and there are no sales in asia pacific region australia africa with little bit sales in South America. So my geographic footprint is lying between Americas and Europe. Now further if I want to know within America where do I have the maximum sales to increase my local distribution I would have to enable my drill down. So I enable the drill down it shows in black arrow and I say take me one level down wherever needed. So if I click on it it took me United States and I see the bigger circle is somewhere above Nevda and very few or similar size circle are California, Illinois, Montana and Oregon etc. So basis this you would like to have your distribution channel as close to Nevda compared to the others and with that you can have a central hub and spoke model set up for this particular example. So this geographical information is available to you and the bubbles which are showing is the size or the number. So you see the quantity of sales is 4958 compared to 345 over here and 181 in California. So this is how we can configure the maps and we can go about using them. So this information will help you in your different business scenarios. Having said that, you would have to identify if you are a geospatial player, then only I would request you to go for such visuals.